first we have our maintenance menu. Some pretty cool options here. We have our print head nozzle check, print head cleaning, power cleaning, print head alignment, and fill ink. Then we have ink level setting, remaining capacity of maintenance box, paper guide cleaning, and then that's it for the maintenance menu. Now, then we wanna hit this button here, not the back arrow, to back out of this menu. Settings, general settings, maintenance, print status sheet, print counter, restore default settings, and firmware update. In general settings, we have basic settings, printer settings, and network settings. In basic settings, we have LCD brightness, sleep timer, power off timer, language, operation timeout, keyboard, back out of that menu. Down to printer settings, we have universal print settings and PC connection via USB. Let's go to universal print settings. Top offset, left offset, check paper width, skip blank page. Cool. Let's back out of there. Let's check what's in the PC connection via USB. Enable or disable. Okay, cool. Let's go down to network settings. This has our Wi-Fi setup, wired LAN setup, network status, connection check, and an advanced menu. Okay, for now we're not going to get into that. Let's back out. Let's go down to the maintenance option in the settings menu. It looks like these are all the same options that were on the front. Yep, so let's back out. Print status sheet. Configuration status sheet, supply status sheet, and usage history sheet. So let's back out. There's a print counter. So as you can see, we've made three prints so far. Two for the alignment and one for the nozzle check. And then we have our restore default options and firmware update. We have another Wi-Fi menu here. This is where we can connect our printer to Wi-Fi. For now, we're gonna back out. And this is gonna finish up this video for today. If you have any questions about this printer or you would like to place an order for the Epson F170, feel free to give the knowledgeable staff at Pro Digital Gear a call. 1-888-459-1482. Send us an email at sales at prodigitalgear.com or visit our website, www.prodigitalgear.com. Com. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching.